Bristol City Council has decided it will no longer support plans to expand Bristol Airport over environmental concerns. The plans include a new car park and hub aimed at boosting passenger numbers to 2 million a year, with the airport saying it could support sustainable economic growth that will drive the region's economy from COVID-19. In a press conference on Wednesday, the Mayor Marvin Rees emphasised his support for the City Council's aim to tackle climate change. However, he discussed the overall importance of reducing air miles and also brought up air traffic management issues faced by airports with limited capacity. He discussed his concern that preventing an airport expansion would be more symbolic than effective. He later went on to compare the issue to the taking down of the Colston statue. So you, you, our aim in tackling aviation-driven climate change is to reduce air miles. I think there are two key levers you have to do that. One is to stop airplanes taking off so much, and airplanes won't take off if people aren't on them. So that means reducing demand. The other way, um, the other way you can um, uh, tackle um, aviation-driven uh, um, emissions is through better managing existing air traffic. But there are basically tens of thousands of air miles that come back through air through airplane stacking, waiting to land because they can't actually get out of the sky because the runways at Heathrow and Gatwick are at capacity. But where I understand that a number of people are of the belief that airports in and of themselves are drivers of demand. My, 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 my view on this is this, if you can follow this example. Airports, airport expansion to climate has become like the Colston statue to racism. So people, people got excited about the Colston statue as though tearing it down was the end of racism. Of course it wasn't. It was very symbolic, but it wasn't. 